Today I'm giving 10 tips on how to get to your first thousand subscribers real quick. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Nikisha. If this is your first time here, welcome. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button because I'm about to give you some super hot fire today on how to get your first 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. The first thing I want to say is you have to come into this YouTube game with a strategy, okay? YouTube is so different now. There are so many people here, so many people trying to do it. So you need to come in with intention. Know what it is that you're trying to accomplish from the platform. Know who you want to talk to on the platform and you need to create videos with that in mind. So the very first thing you need to do is start with a niche. You need to start with a very targeted niche. And what that is, is just a specific person that you're talking to. I won't even say start with a specific group of people. You need to have one person that you are talking to. Because if you're trying to talk to everybody, then you'll be talking to nobody. For me, when I created my channel, I knew that I wanted to speak to the mom that wanted to work from home to spend more time with her children and do something that would be easy, allow her to make that extra money and get off and tend to her kids, right? And so I began to talk specifically to that one mother that was in a position that I was in at one time when I was looking to work from home. So when you start your channel, start with a niche in mind. Now, when you start that channel with a network in mind, you want to show people that, hey, this is my network and you should come here and subscribe to this channel. And the way that you do that is through a header. You need to have a really compelling header on your channel. It needs to tell them what your name is, who you are, what this channel or this network is about, how often you publish on this channel, and basically give them things that will compel them to want to subscribe to your channel because that's the point, right? You want them to subscribe to that channel and you want, want them to watch your videos, right? And so you need to give them an overall view of what that channel is going to be about so they can determine whether they want to subscribe to you or not. So making sure that you have a beautiful banner up there that tells people what you all about, that's gonna be really, really important when trying to get your first thousand subscribers. Now next, you have heard this one a million times, let's be honest, and that's being consistent. In order to grow on YouTube, you have to be consistent. Let's just be honest. Um, they tell us that you have to be consistent. So whether that means you're going to upload one video a week, two videos a week, one video a month, whatever it is, um, for your channel, which my recommendation would be to at least upload one video a week. When I've been consistent and uploaded more, two videos, three videos, that's when I've seen the most growth here on YouTube, right? I've seen my channel gain 100, 200 channels in a week. I have yet to go viral or anything like that. I have not had this explosion of, you know, subscribers, but I have grown consistently when I have put out videos consistently. It took me about, I wanna say between 60 and 90 days to get my first thousand subscribers, which is not so shabby because I know people that are still working on their first thousand subscribers and they've been here for a while. So I know that consistency with a theme to your channel will get people subscribing to your channel. Okay, now that you have an informative header and they know what your channel is about, now it's time to create some videos with good, good SEO juice, right? What SEO is, is titling your videos with something that can be easily searchable. We all know that YouTube is a search engine which is owned by the largest search engine, Google. And so if you wanna be found here on YouTube, you are going to have to create videos that people are searching for. That would be my number one tip, especially when you don't have an audience already and you wanna grow from zero like the rest of us, you're gonna need to create videos that people are searching for. And in order to come up in the search and get ranked with your videos, you will have have to use amazing titles on your videos, amazing tags in your videos. And 
amazing descriptions to your videos. Now what I mean about using amazing titles is you might take a vacation somewhere. Let's say you go to Dubai or whatever and you want to type you want to title it Lit Girls Weekend to Dubai. Nobody is typing in Lit Girls Weekend. People are probably going to type in travel vlog to Dubai or Dubai travel vlog or whatever. So you're going to need to put that keyword in your um, video description in some way, shape or form. Whether you put um, Dubai travel vlog colon Lit Girls Weekend or whatever. I know you might want to be um, catchy and cute and all that good stuff but when you're trying to grow we have to be sensible right and think logically like a person that is typing something in a search engine what would you put in google or youtube when you're searching for something right what, what would you type in you probably want to title your video that, right? And so the same thing with the description. This is not a place where you want to get lazy in your videos and just type out, oh, this video is about this. No, you want to explain what the video is going to be about. Put some keywords in that description. Uh, lit, this, today's video is going to be about a lit girls weekend, a uh, uh, travel vlog to Dubai, which was a lit girls weekend. I had an amazing time exploring whatever this city is in Dubai. I stayed at the blah, 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 blah hotel. So you want to put keywords in there that's going to be related to that main keyword of travel vlog Dubai. You know, and you want to try to fill that description up with good, good keywords so that when people search for that topic, your video comes up. Same thing with the tags. You want to put the first tag you want to put in is travel vlog Dubai. And then the secondary keyword might be, um, vacation to Dubai or whatever, but you want to put in some good keywords so that you can get that good SEO juice search engine optimization because we all know that YouTube is a search engine and you want to make sure that your video gets seen at the top of those results for people that are looking for that type of video. Now, after you've done all that, you have an amazing header and you have great SEO on your videos, you want to make sure you're making a captivating thumbnail, right? Your thumbnail needs to jump out at people. It needs to be something that people will click on. When you search something and you see the results come up, more than likely you pick the most catchy thumbnail, right? You're going to pick the one that maybe has color or the person is doing something crazy or there's something on that thumbnail that sticks out to you or it's a bright color or something like that. You kind of got to be, you kind of got to exaggerate on YouTube, okay? You kind of got to do the most in your thumbnail so that people will click on them because if you can't get a person to click on the thumbnail, you can't get them to watch the amazing content that you've taken your time out to create, right? So you want to create thumbnails that just draw people in and they have no choice but to click. Create those amazing thumbnails. Now next, we've all heard this and I just gotta say it because it's the truth and YouTube keeps telling us this consistency. You have to upload to YouTube consistently if you want to grow. You need to come up with a schedule that's going to work for you and I know it can be hard. Trust me, I know. It can be difficult, but in the beginning, set some a set a pace that it's going to be easy for you to do. Once a week. If you upload once a week, you can sit down in one Saturday um, and record four videos and schedule them out over the next four weeks and you got your one video a week on YouTube. Now, if you want to grow even faster, schedule two, maybe even three. And there's some people out here doing daily vlogging, okay? Now, if you think that you can keep that up, go for it because the more you upload, the faster you'll be able to grow on this platform. But as long as you're uploading consistently, you're going to be good. Next thing you have to do is pay attention to your analytics. Everything you want to know about your videos and how they're doing and the growth and all that good stuff 
is in your analytics. It will show you your most popular videos, the videos that are not doing so great, what people are watching and all that stuff. So you need to pay attention to the trends. Is there a video that people just absolutely love and they just cannot get enough of? Are there videos that you're making that uh, people are not liking them so much? You know, that doesn't mean you need to stop making it, especially if it's something that brings you joy or whatever, but you know that's not gonna be the video that's going to get you growth and get you to that thousand subscribers. Now what you do want to do is take a look at your most watched video or video that you may see trending or you know it's just going crazy over all the rest of your videos. That's the video that you want to take a look at. If you find yourself with a video that's doing better than others, you want to continue to make that video until you can't make it no more. If you made a video about ravioli and it is taking off, you want to make a version of a ravioli video until you run out of ideas on that ravioli video, right? So if, if the video was about how to make ravioli in a crock pot, made another one about how to bake ravioli, how to make homemade ravioli, whatever, because obviously, People are interested in that ravioli video considering your channel is a food channel or whatever. You want to look at peaks and spikes in your viewership and a video that may be gaining you subscribers and continue to make that video over and over and over. Now you can do that by way of creating series, right? So you might want to create a ravioli series and in that series you have 10 videos that talks all about ravioli. To be honest with you, that's how I got my start on YouTube. I created a video about my first day as a ship shopper. I decided last summer, probably was around this time, last summer, I started um, shopping for ship and I made a video about it on my very first time going out because I just wanted to capture the experience. But I noticed that that video started start it peaking, start trending. And not only that, my viewers start asking me a lot of questions about it. People start asking me in questions. And so as they ask me questions, I began to make more videos answering their questions, right? And as I continued to make more and more of those videos, the more and more views I got. And that series, that Ship Shopper series, just took off for me. And that's how a lot of you might have found me from those shipped videos, right? And so creating series can help you get the momentum that you need on a new channel and get you those first subscribers that you're looking for. Now make sure that your series is related to the genre or the theme of the network that you're going to be creating here on YouTube. Make sure it's around that theme and the topic that you want to talk about so that you don't lose that audience when you start making your other types of videos. So more than likely, if not, this is not, this is not a guarantee, but if you made a video about ravioli, maybe that person that's interested in ravioli might be interested in spaghetti. You know, or maybe that person is interested in food. You know what I mean? And so make sure that your future videos are going to be around that topic. Now that leads me into listen to your audience. Oftentimes, if you are engaged in the comments how you should be, okay, um, your audience is gonna ask you questions or give you recommendations or tell you things that they are interested in seeing from you on your channel. It is a good idea to listen to them because those are the videos that they are going to share, that they are going to engage on, and that will really get your viewership up and get your channel moving, right? So you want to listen to your audience, poll them, ask them what they wanna see next, and they will give you some great ideas. Now that brings me to engaging with your audience, right? It is absolutely so important to engage with your audience. You must, without the shadow of a doubt, respond to every comment on your channel. You have to, you have to respond to every channel. Whether you heart it, you respond back, you have to respond to them. You know why? Because that's going to cue um, YouTube like, okay, this is a really dope video. People like this, people are engaging on this. She's talking to people there. And so the more and more your engagement on that video goes up, YouTube will continue to serve it out to other people and recommend that they watch the video. So commenting, 
um, back to your um, subscribers, talking to them, creating conversations in the comment section is really, really beneficial when you want to get that video taking off and get YouTube to serve it to other people and recommend it on other people's channel and all that good stuff. If you are engaging with your audience, they will be more inclined to help you to build your channel. They will help you get to that 1,000 subscribers. You want to know how? They are going to share your content. They are going to recommend your channel to their friends and family. If you notice at the at the end or probably at the beginning of some of my newer, older videos, I always ask people to share the video out to social media, share it with their friend, share it with somebody they know that might be interested because I know that people sharing and word of mouth is so much more beneficial than people randomly finding my video. If I tell my girlfriend, girl, you need to try this new Fenty makeup, girl, this is popping, this is so good, she's gonna, she'll be more inclined to believe me than just finding a random Fenty video about somebody doing it because she was referred that thing by someone that she already knows and trusts. So ask your audience to help you build. Ask them to share it out on their social media. Ask them to share it with someone that they think might find it helpful. Get them to build your channel for you because usually birds of a feather flock together and if they like your video, more than likely their friend or family member that they think of to share it with will like your channel too. And that would be not only one subby, but two or three or four, however many people they to decide to share it with. Then, in addition to them sharing your video, you need to be sharing your video. If you have audience on other platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, you need to be sharing your content out there as well. Twitter, Twitter is really good for sharing out your um, YouTube videos. Facebook is good. I share on Instagram, wherever you can share, maybe a snippet of your video or just telling people a new video dropped or whatever. You want to get that video out there on other platforms and let people know that you have a new video up, you have a channel, they should support you and all all that good stuff. If you don't tell anybody about your channel and you don't believe in your channel, why should other people? You need to be your biggest fan, your biggest advocate and all that good stuff and shout your channel from the rooftops to everybody that you know. Use those other platforms to build up your YouTube. YouTube loves it when you send traffic over to their platform because that's them saying, okay, she's working hard for us. Now let us work hard for her and serve this video out to new people and and then tell other people about her channel too because that's really what you want. You want your video to be recommended other under other videos and on other channels and YouTube loves to do that for your videos when you are bringing people to the platform. And last but not least, don't give up. Keep going no matter what if you don't feel like you're getting the views if you don't feel like you're getting the subbies and all that stuff guess what it's pretty guaranteed that you won't get that if you give up so giving up is not an option put that in your head tell yourself that you are in this for the long haul and that you are in this to build something that will be lucrative for you and your family and that means that you can't give up easy that you gotta stay with it that you gotta be in it for the long haul youtube is a long game it is not a short game where you can jump in here make this money do this do it no youtube you have to be willing to play the long game so put it in your mind now that you're here to stay and that you're in it for the long game and that you are not going to give up and so those are my tips those are my tips for getting to to your first 1,000 subscribers real quick. Now you know the deal. Go ahead and share this out to your friends, your family members, your Twitter followers, your Facebook followers, girl. I know you know somebody that's out here trying to build a YouTube channel and that could use some tips in 2019 because it can be hard out here for a pimp, okay? It can be hard out here. So go ahead, share this um, video with them and let them know there's a girl named Nikisha over here giving tips and tricks on how to make money from home and find success with side hustle. So I will see you guys over here in one of these other videos. Go and watch one of those for me and I will see you guys next time. Bye.